How you doing? Hey, so uh, yeah, this video is on the emergency warning mode for the Plex Guide user interface. So pretty much this interface is kind of self-obvious. It gives you basic information that you need. And uh, like I said, we have a video that just kind of talks about it in general. But the focus right here is the warning log. So the thing is, you kind of maybe wonder like, well, how does this get triggered and what happens here? So right now, this is an early video for it, but right now there's just two things right now, and this will increase. Also to note that it will start up in the uh, Plex Guide um, terminal interface itself, and it will also post here what the warnings and issues are. There will be an option later that will allow you to suppress the warnings in, term, uh, in the terminal interface, because what it does is when it starts up, it will pause you. So right now, most of you are familiar with loading up Plex Guide. So let me just bring this down and Right now, I'm gonna exit. So if I just type Plex Guide, you're pretty much familiar with this, this interface right here. So the thing is, how do we generate these warnings? So an example of it is, is uh, running under three gigs of space, right? So if you run under three gigs of space, it's a bad thing because if you run out of this space completely, your server will lock up. Sometimes you won't be able to SSH in because all the data literally occupies all the space and you can barely get in and it can take forever to load up or it can disconnect your mounts which is a bad thing because then if your mounts disconnect then your plex your mb your jellyfin and all those programs will start erasing themselves which is not good and what i mean by erasing is the metadata so basically if your plex library took five days to scan <laughs> you're gonna do it again so let's run an example here so right now you can see that i'm at 14 gigs of space right out of 19. So we're, what we're gonna do is here, I already have a, a one gig file downloaded and I'm gonna go ahead and replicate that. So copy 10 bin to 20 bin. Copy 10 bin to 30 bin. And let's do one more just in case, copy 10 bin to 40 bin. I picture there's probably a better way to write that button. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and load up Plex Guide. It takes, yeah, see? And look at that right there. They both occurred, see? So that's a good thing because this is just pretty much a warning saying, hey, um, your containers are stopped. And if you're running Plex, NZV Git, or any of those programs, it does pause them. It basically stops them. Um, so what you need to do is to fix that is basically you got to get your system up to three, you know, above three gigs. So another warning I'm going to go ahead and generate um, is right now is having traffic running and the ports open at the same time. So we all know that's kind of a security nightmare. There's reasons why some people have it, but there are times where I'll even set up a demo VM and I'll forget to close the ports because you're just kind of in the moment. Um, you, you may have your ports open and um, you know anybody might be able to do a drive-by or scan on your IPv4 address. So it's something that we just want to have checked out. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the ports. And then we should see that second error start generating. Okay. Good times, right? <laughs> so the purpose of this, again, this interface is basically to just assist uh, both tech support and us. Okay, so the ports are now open and it might take like a minute to kick in. See, I'm on eight points. And there we go, see? It says that we're vulnerable to an attack. And then the same thing should happen here there you go, vulnerable to an attack. So that's basically the warning system, that's how it works. Let's just go ahead for a sanity check and remove some of those bins. 20 bin, remove 30 bin, remove 40 bin. And let's just make sure that one of the errors go away, right? And again, there's a, there you go, see? Damn, it's pretty quick. If I type Plex Guide, See, same exact thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out the ports. Got a thing here, there we go. And close out the ports.
and then that warning should go away and I should get no more prompts. So hopefully this is a little bit useful for you. And again, this is just a proof of concept to show you. So you're not completely lost and you're wondering, well, what are these error messages? And are they resolvable? Yes, they are. So again, this is to both assist um, us and yourself because if these, if you have operational messages that say not operational or you have warning logs, that's indicators right there. Okay, so now this should be going away. So it looks like the script is still hasn't updated yet. And there we go. And then if I refresh this, yep, there it is, goes away. All right, so I hope you, hope you enjoyed this video, kind of like proof of concept. Well, it's actually working, but you know, just an idea. But uh, please feel free to donate, join the forum, um, assist other members. Um, and again, this is a community project, as I always say, as always, like and subscribe. Again, I always appreciate your time. You have an outstanding day.